producing renewable energy has become a worldwide concern. But how to identify the soil to get good return on investment? There is a huge hype around the renewable energy sector, but the majority of investors are still remaining cautious. As a result, even some profitable business models end up on waiting list, and developers are left cash-strapped. To identify those jewels of science from the empty promises, there has to be an understanding that there is no one fit clean energy solution for all countries. The key condition for a financially profitable project is to reduce costs of renewable energy production to the level of conventionally generated electricity, which is described as grid parity. If most northern European countries face a huge challenge to produce enough electricity from renewable sources at a cost equivalent to those generated in conventional power plants, then some warmer countries with a lower density of population, like the Canary Islands, can easily reach grid parity, simply because of a very high price of imported fossil fuels. As a result, renewable energy production becomes not only environmentally friendly, but also financially viable for investors. The Canary Islands sees about 12 million tourists every year, and the appetite for the energy consumption is simply unsuitable. The Canary Islands is a perfect example of a cost-effective clean energy generation, and I'll show you why. Surrounded by the winds from the ocean and with the highest solar radiation in Europe, the Canary Islands has all the resources for producing a large amount of clean energy and even be self-sufficient. That is allowing 100% energy production by means of uh, um, renewable energies. Having to import 7,000 tons of fossil fuels yearly, the Canary Islands are facing a hefty fuel bill. Moreover, 12 million tourists every year and a scarcity in fresh water supply. Bringing water with tanks is very costly as we are developing technologies that are uh, um, intended to desalinate or treat the water uh, using renewable energies. To meet this challenge, the Canary Islands have been pioneering many novel ideas for energy self-sufficiency. The El Hierro experience. The project of El Hierro is a pioneering project. So it will be the first of its kind in the world. Systems like we are developing in El Hierro could be extrapolated to other insular regions in the world. Canary Islands is a bridge to uh, Africa. New technologies as smart grids, mini grids are being produced here, meaning that the whole population becomes involved in the energy supply by either producing or consuming or sharing the energy to the grid. An island with 650 people, we are developing a microgrid fully supplied by renewable energies on a very small scale. The distribution can be replicated in similar urban settlements of industrialized countries, but also in developing countries. Um, our, our vision is that the Canary Islands are a kind of laboratory for testing and developing new energy technologies of all kinds, providing companies or investors the possibility to test systems here uh, under real conditions. In conclusion, renewable energy projects have to be assessed with regard to a specific area. And if you can identify the perfect fit, then you can multiply your wealth even in apparently less fertile soils.